Hello everybody, welcome into this new video. Let's take a look how we can get started with the PageFly application provided by Shopify. So uh, here to Shopify, I do have a website. I'm gonna hit into the X mark. As you can see, I do have an online store. So here, what I want to do is to add the PageFly. You might be wondering what this, what the heck this PageFly actually is. So this is a great application to kind of helping us to customize a little bit more uh, professional and interesting to our products. So um, I'm going to go here into my shop and I do want to show you something that I just created that was actually created by default um, by Shopify. So if I hit into my catalog, so you might see that I have a few products added as drop shipping, but as you can see, this is like too broad, this is too general, this is too basic. The products uh, I can see just that I'm using here. I can try to add another section. For example, I'm gonna hit into add section, and let's say that I want to look for feature product like this, and this feature product, I want to add this in the upper side. And here into this feature product, I want to choose one of this product. Let's say, for example, I want to feature this one. And just like that, it's been added successfully, right? But if I scroll, I will see, you might see, guys, that there's like no so much interesting ideas that I can add into my into my store. So that's the reason why PageFly is going to be helping us a lot to um, customize this a little bit more. Uh, professional. So uh, now that you have an idea of what happened here, I'm going to go back into my store, into the dashboard. I'm going to hit into applications. And here into applications, I want to look for the page fly. So here into page fly, I hit into the apps and I just install this. This is totally for free. Of course, there are a few integrations that you want to might be added into your store so you can have like more great experience here. So in order to get started, of course, we want to import this into our Shopify store since we already uh, install the application inside our Shopify uh, app store. As you can see, here is my website and here is my email from my Shopify. So I can go into my dashboard and I can just get started. So uh, what I do want to focus on is into the pages. And we do have some regular pages, we do have the home pages. So what you want to do is to create your very first page. We can use a template, you can use a blank space. Uh, so what I want to do is to choose a template. So you don't have to be worrying about any kind of templates because these are uh, the templates that we can use. So as you can see, we do have, let's say for example, this template, we do have this one, we do have this one as well. So depending on your niche, depending on what kind of stuff you want to um, add it here, I'm gonna choose, let's say landing page. So I just want to feature like just one item and I want to add like a description, uh, the features, the dimensions, absolutely anything about the product. So I can have that uh, boost of productivity and professionalism into my store. So I think that I'm gonna stick around with this one but I want to look for something a little bit more easier to to use. For example, I think I'm gonna use the one that says the sparkling, hit into preview. Uh, and as you can see, here's the template. So you can just scroll a little bit down and see how does this template works. And if this is uh, fitable for, for your product or not, you just hit into cancel and look for something else that can be helping you to find the right product page. So if I look for, let's say for example, product page, I'm stick around with actually this one looks really great for us. I'm gonna get into preview. If you like what you're seeing here, if you liked how does the scroll moves and all that, I think that this could be working a lot for us. Hit into select this template. And just like that, the editor of the page fly it's gonna be popping up and there we go. So what we just wanted to do is to edit this section. So what I want to do here, we do have the Shopify element, we do have the elements, we do have the third party elements and some extra layers. So here, why she use can we love it? The plenus uh, I want to scroll a little bit down, a little bit down, a little bit down like this. And I want to look for 
one product. So here into the product details, let's say I want to stay here. I'm going to stop here and I'm going to tap the add Shopify element. And here I want to add my product element or my product list. So remember that we added a collection uh, features. So we're going to hit into search element. I'm going to hit for feature. All right, so I'm going to hit into the X mark and I'm going to just stick around with this one. I'm just going to just drag and drop like this. And boom, my products has been added into this template like right away. So I'm just crawling up and down and here are my products already added. So if I want to select, let's say, for example, this one, I want to go into the lead and into drop element here. I want to use the Shopify element. I want to go into product, uh, add to cart, or let's say just collection of a title of an image like this one. I'm going to add that in here. And there we go. So that's the way of we can just drag and drop really, really easy. Select the item you don't want to see, hit into delete, and then you can add more and more elements. For example, I can add this one on the first part of my template like this and here is my column so here into column i can hit into add new element and i have a split version of what i just did and i can have like more or less you see really really easy or i can delete that and add this later so there we go so after that you just can go into add your uh, Shopify element and please select the product in general product store. So what I want to do here is to go into general and here into my product store. What I do want to do is to select one of my pr uh, products that I do have available only into my store. So I'm going to choose like I'm going to feature this one hitting to select product. And there we go. This is my product that now it's been uh, successfully added. I can choose the option that says enable full width. In this case, let's leave it like that. And here, what I want to do is to look for something that can be helping me to uh, make an animation. For example, this one. When animation displays, I can choose, let's say, like a rubber band or a shake or ta da, -da or wobble. So hit into save. And you're actually good to go. Save your page. In this case, I'm going to just use the landing page. And we're actually good to go. Get a hit into save the page, hit into got it. And there we go. Once I hit into publish, of course, you want to choose the page style landing page. And here is the URL. So I'm going to hit into publish and here into publish. So if you want to use this template as like the very first home feed of your website, what you want to do is to go back into your Shopify store, go into an online store and inside the pages section, what you want to do is define the landing page that we just created. As you can see, here is my landing page. And there we go. He's been added now successfully. If you don't see that in there, what you want to do is to choose the option that says add page. And here you want to find your uh, your application, your page that was added successfully from the page fly. So that's like a very basic way of how we can get started here into page fly. Of course, there are so much more resources to teach and uh, to show you there but you might want to use this by yourself and track and be creative here as much as you can here into PageFly. So hopefully guys, it was a very useful video for you. Now don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great applications from the Shopify store, App Store. Thank you once again for watching the video. See you on the next video. See you soon.